Hello there! Welcome to the Raftera channel where you subscribe for the best legends of Runeterra guides on the internet. Today, I'm sharing my guide on Vane Kane, the deck that I used to climb from Platinum to Diamond at 75% win rate. To give you an idea of the deck build and the play pattern, please watch the following gameplay trailer for Vane Kane. They will fear my name. Those who kill innocents are no more than fiends. Serve me, be still. is built on a foundation of death. As you've seen from the trailer, Vayne Kane is a mid-range deck that wins by protecting and leveling up Kane. The Shadow Reaper origin makes it easy to build an all-in Kane deck since its effect can consistently draw Kane in every game. Kane and the Cultist archetype received several support cards in the Darken Saga Domination. Fish Fight as a cheap one-sided strike spell makes it easier and safer to consistently level up Kane. The Expanse's Protection is a premium spell to defend Kane from hard removals, while the Unending Wave makes up for Demacia's weakness of lacking card draw. Vayne is the deck's support champion. Vayne's Stumble helps Kane level up and it can also end games when used on the Shadow Assassin or Rast. If your opponent is able to remove your Kane, you can still win by combining Tumble with Blooming Cultist, Ranger Knight Defector, or Blood Cursed Harpy. I'm running 3 copies of the Darken Ages and 2 copies of Combat Cook to make the most out of Blood Cursed Harpy and Tumble. To close off the deck build, we also have Forsaken Bakai for Predicts, Keeper of the Box for Lifesteal, Momentous Choice plus Sharp Sight for Protection, and Golden Ages plus Concerted Strike for Utility. For the Maligan, you're always going to keep Forsaken Bakai. Against most non-aggro decks, I also keep Vayne and Kane in the Maligan. If you already have Forsaken Bakai, you can also keep Keeper of the Box or Blooming Cultist to set up the Kane draw from the Shadow Reaper. If you already have Kane, or if you already have Cultist units to draw Kane, you can also keep Fish Fight to secure Kane's level up. Against aggro decks, you need to hard Maligan for early units, Forsaken Bakai, Petrocyte Broadwing, and Keeper of the Box. Against combo decks or champion-centric decks, I also like keeping Concerted Strike for removal if I already have a good hand. Plan in advance for Kane's level up. Level 2 Kane is your primary win condition. From the start of the game, you need to be planning on how you can work to level him up. 
I usually like leaving one small opposing unit alive until turn 5 so that Kane will have a safe challenge target. If Kane has already struck once, you can use a strike spell fish fight to complete his level up requirement. Use Forsaken Bakai to fix your hand. Forsaken Bakai is one of the strongest predict units in the game. If you don't have champions, you need to actively look for Kane and Vayne. If you already have a board setup, look for utility spells depending on the matchup. Fish Fight and Concerted Strike are great against champion-centric decks. The Expanse's protection is good against decks running removal spells, and the Unending Wave can be used for card refill. If you're looking for more win conditions in the late game, Blood Cursed Harpy and Golden Ages are your options. Know your deck combos. Here's a quick list of this deck's combos and synergies for your reference. If you have Tumble and a scout unit like Ranger, Knight Defector, or Blood Cursed Harpy, you can get off 3 attacks in a single turn. If you have this hand, do not use your scout attack with your default attack token. You want to use your default attack token normally, then use Tumble on your scout unit to get another attack token. This way, you can attack twice with your Overwhelm and Elusive units. Fishawak, the Fixem 5000, and the Dark Insight are the best weapons to equip on Blood Cursed Harpy. If you don't want these weapons to get destroyed, you can swap them out for other weapons manually or with Tumble. Blooming Cultist's Elusive Damage can accumulate quickly if left unchecked. Consider using Tumble on Blooming Cultist to push for Elusive Damage. Joral is best used on a defensive turn to set up a powerful open attack against decks running fast speed spells. The Unending Wave is best used on late turns. Ensure that you have enough mana to play the fleeting cards that you will draw from it. Before we proceed to the gameplay, once again, if you like this video and if you like my content, don't forget to leave a like and a random or non-random comment. Also, we are very, 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 very close to reaching 10,000 subscribers, just about 1,000 away, so help me reach my next milestone by pressing the subscribe button. Oh no. The hard counter, Ash LeBlanc. This is a nice hand to keep. Petricide Broadwing can't get killed. Can't get countered by Frostbites, right? Uh huh. Fish fight? We're going aggro? Kappa? They might have an archer. I think I'll just take the damage that I can take here. There's no way we win this game against Frostbites. The trap is set. No, they're using that version. Uh, we can K vein here. If they culling strike, we have backup sharp sight to protect our vein. Double king. We could Broadwing, and then if they pass, we're gonna pass back. Okay. They never pass. Kane is gonna die to a Calling Strike. I can guarantee it. Oh! I mean, it's not that bad. It's not that bad. We're okay. Kappa? <laughs> I forgot to play around Reckoning. It's been a while since I played against Ash LeBlanc. It's okay, Kappa. Game doesn't do much. This seems fine. Foolish. 
Okay. Arcane gets a strike. That's all that matters, I think. It might be important to kill this Yeti, though. Okay, so we will kill this Yeti with uh, Fish Fight and level up gain. We need some healing. Yes, yours. Yeah, obey your master. Do we attack with Harpy? The Aegis dies if we attack with Harpy. Did I just play into Harsh Winds? Might have just played into Harsh Winds. Fine, that's fine. Fish fight is great. Our is yours. Places to go, people to be. We need Aatrox to kill something. We will survive, we will survive. What a treat. <laughs> That's the only way I live, right? If they have troll chant, we lose. Can't play around troll chant. Oh, nice. I whisper truth into lies. Yeesh. Joral? We fight for one Freljord. I held the line. I held it. Our banner will lead the way. They, they attacked in the wrong order. What the hell do they have in their hand?
<laughs> that game, Kane, you boss monster. Diamond, baby. Oh no, Ravenous Flux. So the Dark in Ages is pretty cool to have. But I'm not sure we keep it. I think we keep Kane. They have all the removal spells in the world. Okay, nice. We have one unit. If we take the Dark in Aegis, we could get a tree too. But I think I, I like fish flight better. Fish fight. Fish Rite will enable us to level up Kane if opponent doesn't remove him immediately. Um, careful. Thing tangles real easy. Combat real. Ideally, I want to leave this alive because we want to leave some free food for Kane. But we don't have much to do in the first few turns. So we just gotta make sure Kane lives. Will Kane be able to live? We have momentous choice to protect him. It's not out of the ordinary. The sun got me good. Wow, discarding the combat reel. I think that was a pretty good card for them, right? I want to be slightly efficient with my mana, so I'm going to go for the Ranger Knight Defector. If we can get the strike once with Kane, we can use fish flight after. Fish fight. Okay. So one Ravenous Flock down. They're pushing some damage here. Five damage to face. Okay, no more thermo beam. That's good. You are the tool. I am the weapon. So even if the first game dies, we can get a second one with Forsaken Bakai. Maybe that's good for us. But we want to level up this game. But I expect them to have removal for the first game. I think it's gonna be Copium to expect that this game won't die. Right. So we are kind of safe in terms of gain level up now because we can use Concerted Strike reactively to any removal. That way we can level up our first gain. Hard for them to have a fast removal spell at 5 mana. And if they do, we can Momentous Choice. Wait, what's happening? I don't. I, I didn't actually understand what happened there. Why is this zero mana? Oh, it it got discounted by drum solo. Both of them got discounted by drum solo. Crazy. So if the first cane dies, we're fine because we have a second cane with first second bakay.
Why are they getting casted multiple times? Stop. So I probably want to wait for my next draw before playing this king. I want to wait for the spell shield just to ensure our king doesn't die. Four mana? Does he have anything to kill this king at four mana? Sometimes you're the fish, sometimes you're the bait. Maybe it's safe to do it now. Kappa? If I die here, then I just learn that they have something at 4 mana that can kill a 6 mana unit. I'm, I'm doing it for science. Holy fuck. Is it like a Ravenous flock next turn? Okay, it's a Ravenous flock next turn. Yeah, this Ravenous Flock next turn. Or Scourge Earth. It's Flock. Please stop having more spells. Stop. We have ran out of canes. I repeat, we have ran out of canes. Fascinating the overlap between magic and science. They have level two champions. That's the scary part. What the fuck? What the fuck are those? GG Katarina, I'm not too happy with this matchup. I think we are countered by them. And we probably need to keep Concerted Strike. I mean, this is a pretty fine hand. Dangerous to keep, but they don't have too much early pressure. Okay. They don't have any early player for Kappa. I take it back. They have early pressure. Demons walk among us, masquerading as men. Am I down to attack into Fae Blade Twirler? I'm probably not down to attack into them. If they develop, I can dark in ages. Problem is if they open attack with Shimon Wind. No going back. Ooh. Blood for Noxus. Death it is. What's the counter to this? Momentous choice. Twin disciplines. Both of those aren't enough. We could get flocked here. They will fear my name and gravel before mine. If they pass, we are passing back. 
if the first cane dies, we have a second cane. Are they using flock? No flock. Confirmed no flock. So we need to use the tumble. They could flock, but I could momentous choice. Oh. Sure. I failed you, said. They have to be trolling if they Yasuo over here. My thing is stunned, I can't block that. Those are not the best cards. I think I skip there. Sleep is for the <laughs> You got baited, sir. You got baited. They kind of forgot about that. So I think we just go for the attack. Take the seven damage. I could just go for the second vein. I could also protect. Let's protect. Make him commit more. This inflicts huge damage and heals us up. <laughs> I don't do meditation. Meditation does me. We level up vein. Cool. Every last monster will be purged. Sure, sure. You can do that. You need more. <laughs> Kick W. If they drop below any type of stun, I'm gonna rally this turn. So they can still have stun. Shouldn't rally this turn. Oh. Yeah, I shouldn't rally this turn. 100%. I mean, this attack isn't too good. If we go for this, they, they probably have a fast speed stun. I think it's best to go for Jural. Make it a bit awkward for them. Destiny waits. Death is like the wind. Always, Always by, by my side. side. So this makes all of their spells more expensive, right? Usually they have Homecoming, Ionian Tellstones, Concussive Palm could be something. This guy's crazy. Dude, Joral! Joral is the MVP there. They got a bit greedy there. Got him. One more win, and we're at Diamond. Then we can start to switch decks. Annie Jin. Always a classic. Uh, we want to hard mulligan for our units, early units. Double for second, baka is decent. 
But I still won't be surprised if we lose this game because they're Annie Jin. Nice. I don't think we keep Kane. Keeper of the box will be good. Probably be good. They didn't have a one drop. They probably won't have a two drop. I, I I'm I'm satisfied to just keep going wide. If they only attack with Boom Crew Rookie, I think that's good for me. If they develop, I can play Broadwing. Or I can even play Vayne. I think Vayne is the way to go if they develop. We can Vayne now. And then we can go for Broadwing plus Bakay. I think we got this. We should have this game in the bag. I ima it's hard to imagine a world where we lose this. Especially with this life steal keeper of the box. I'm got probably gonna equip it, equip it with the Dark in Ages. We have Kane coming too with a concerted strike back up. For the Empire. Okay. I think we are healthy. We are healthy. We have life gain with Keeper of the Box and Kane. Level 2 Kane. We should be fine. That, 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 that. Uh, I bet they have one more stun. We don't need to rush the Kane. We can just do this. Get some life steals off while having some backup concerted strike. They are considering use a Noxion Fervor. Oh, will they do it? I need my lifesteal, bruh. What you gonna do, sir? I think at this point you just surrender. I'm getting six points of life steal. Oh jeez. They will go for a uh, stage hand to stun it. But I just life steal again next turn. Kane is probably the correct play here. We top below mana, but we can start progressing him. What? Why? This is a game. I will showcase the beauty of tragedy. We level up Vayne this turn. I never miss. Maybe we just chill out for a bit. But yeah, we have the game secured. I don't see a way for them to win. I could go for an ending wave into Golden Aegis. If I want my cane to be super secured, right? Sure. We haven't even finished the first act. I still get the life steal. Drown in shadow. Lurk. I don't think we've seen Vayne. I think we've only seen Vayne once so far. We're not drawing her for some odd reason. Uh, we can go 
Broadwing into Keeper of the Box. Into Aegis. Seems strong. Seems strong. Having a 0 4 tough formidable Broadwing seems strong. The box I could have also gone for the. Oh. Guess we just trade here. Probably better to go for Forsaken Bakai. We could have used the Lifesteal, right? But getting rid of some Lurk units for free is good. Whoa! Sure. We got Kane. We got Vayne. We got Kane. Do I let this happen? Probably do. I think I want to save my Momentous Choice for Kane. I want to go for Kane, Momentous Choice, and Fish Fight. I think that's what I want to do this round. Please don't have any attackers. Nice. Probably want to wait before I fish fight. Demons walk among us, masquerading as men. We could fish fight now. I think it's a good fish fight. The rage, let it loose. We'll probably let the attack of the Sir Sereth go through. Is that a pike or a Rek'Sai? Rast. Yes, yours. Hi, we can do it this way. Yes, thank you for mercy. We're gonna use the tumble this turn too. Tumble plus backup of Condemn and Momentous Choice. And the next turn we can unending wave to refill our hand. Next turn I'm gonna go either for Joral or for an ending wave. Sure. Got him. Easy and virus. 
Maybe there's something in Lee's virus because you don't rely on virus too much to win. I don't think I keep blooming cultist. I'm looking for vein, bakai. For second bakai is good. Double bakai, very good. I'd like to get the vein. We have vein now. And then we have the we have Kane secured too with Forsaken Bakai and Keeper of the Box. I think I want to go Broadwing this turn. And then we go Vein next turn. And then we go Keeper of the Box plus Bakai on turn 4. Straightforward curve. Fish Fight is great for Kane. I actually don't want to kill the, the Vastayan Disciple so that I have a target for my Kane. I, I, I want to get the Darken equipment probably with Forsaken Bakai so that we have something to use Tumble on. Nice, we won't kill the Cultist. 100% we won't kill it. Concerted Strike seems good. I like it. And then we will work for the vein. The cane, I mean. So I don't really want to kill the Occultist, I think. Probably do these attacks. Just to clear up the board. But I 100% don't want to kill the Lunari Cultist. Because I, wa I want to have something to challenge with Kane. And now I'm threatening Momentous Choice too, right? It's fine. How do you level up Virus here? In Ionia? How the hell do you level up Virus? I guess 2 gems maybe? We could Concerted Strike now, but I'd rather wait for Kane. Ooh. So they can raise Lee Sin's attack up to 4. We just kill Lee Sin, right? How do they counter this? Momentous Choice. But if they Momentous Choice, it means they can't challenge. But, but I'm going to be honest, I didn't think of Momentous Choice before I casted that spell. Okay, so we just block here. We leave the cultist alive because it's an offering for Kane. RP is good too, but we can use it next turn. Yeah, don't worry, I'm not gonna do anything to Varus. Can I actually get off two strikes here? It's not worth it though. I think if I kill Kane, they can't bounce back. I can start with this. Just kill the Kane. Get rid of the problem right here, right now. And then I do my first strike with. I mean, kill the virus. <laughs> virus, Vayne, and Kane is <laughs> kind of confusing me a bit. Oh, I, I don't, don't want to equip. equip. I don't, don't want to equip. equip. I, I just, just want to tumble. It's free, right? We get a strike with Kane, and then we set up the fish fight next turn. To level him up. Are we even set up to tumble next turn if we don't want to use fish fight yet? But fish fight, fish fight is pretty great here. Double fish fight. I like it. Could they bounce it back to hand? Maybe. We probably want to use Tumble this turn again to level up Vayne. So we start with the fish fight. Um, if this gets denied, we can Tumble. Tumble and equip the Darken Ages on the cane. Hi. 
So we can still tumble. We will tumble here. I don't think we need to re-equip anything. We can just do this. They can't block Kane at all. We can resummon. Then we have the zero cost tumble next turn. The rage, let it loose. <laughs> we can go for a blood cursed harpy, right? Always go for Rast. We can start with Blood Cursed Harpy and start pressuring. This will force him to block. Then we still have backup of Tumble plus Fish Flight. Fish Fight. In the next turn we can Unending Wave to refill our hand. I fight with my yeah, we start with you. We start with Blood Cursed Harpy. No, uh, we challenge first, and then we use Tumble on Blood Cursed Harpy to get the second challenge again. To get the scout attack, we refresh our attack token, and then we can attack with rest. Yeah, I like that play. And then if we tumble, okay, they will do their some recall shenanigans, which is fine. You cannot win. That's fine. Hi. So we just resummon the Raas next turn. But we can go for Tumble this turn. And they have to block. Probably with these two. The virus is nowhere near level up. This is why I was saying that virus is so freaking weak. I think I even attack with Vayne. Probably not. Because they could have combat tricks. Okay. So this is the second virus down and we killed one Lee Sin already. Wait, where did the equipment go? It didn't go back to hand? Did I misclick? Oh, I misclicked. Where did the equipment go? Okay, I have to get my the names right. So we have Vane, Kane, and Varus. Okay, we will never make the mistake again. <laughs> 